Hey, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. I wanted to quickly get into a feature in Windows 2012 server called NIC, NIC teaming. Uh, network teaming, uh, typically you want to provide um, either network redundancy or you, you want to uh, combine NICs together so that you can get uh, more bandwidth or throughput on, you know, the, the uh, by taking the multiple NIC cards and bonding them together. Uh, before this required you know third-party software to be installed on Windows and typically it came with the software vendor. Um, in my case I you know use a lot of HP servers and they had their their uh, NIC teaming software that you could configure on there. Uh, but it was only geared for teaming HP uh, network adapters. Microsoft and 2012 server is now providing NIC teaming and it, it supports multi vendors um, cards that are in the server and it gives you the ability to go ahead and set up either the the load balance type configuration for uh, failover and or the capabilities of combined bonding NICs together so you can get greater bandwidth on your NICs. So if we go and check here in the network settings, we can see that I have two NICs configured on this system here. And what I want to do is go ahead and bond these together. And to do that, in Server Manager, we'll go to All Servers, and then under the Server List, you'll right-click on the server that you want to configure the NIC teaming for. And in the drop-down here, we can see that Configure NIC Teaming is an option that we have. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Uh, once that um, window opens up here for the NIC teaming, we have a couple ways we can do this. We can either go through on the Teams side here, click Task, and do New Team. Or what we can do is go in here and under the Adapter area, select the adapters that you want to be in the team, drop down for Task, and then Add to New Team. And we can go ahead here. When this window opens, we'll go ahead and give it a, new, a name. For the team, you just call it uh, Nick Team. Uh, pretty simple. We can see that both adapters are selected. They're both um, at the same speed. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is mix speeds, uh, Nick Nick card speeds in the same team. So you wouldn't want to have a one gig and a and say a ten gig Nick in the same team. Um, uh, one big glaring reason is because if you're using this for failover, if you um, your your utilization has been running um, greater than that one gig, uh, one link that you've had in there, and then your 10 gig link goes down, when it fails over to that one gig link, your your service levels are probably going to go down drastically. So don't do it. I'm not sure, they may not even allow you to do it. I have not tried testing that. Under the additional properties here, there's a few other options. Uh, teaming mode, there's a load balancing mode, and you can also set um, primary and standby mix in here. Just brief overview, the default is switch independent where you don't have to do anything on your network side or configure anything on the switches. The static teaming does allow you to configure, um, require you to configure your switch side so that it knows that these ports are in a team. And you also have the option to do LACP. Um, and if you've done LACP before where you can trunk the, uh, the multiple ports together, the same concept there. Um, and if we just go ahead, uh, the standby NICs, I think I mentioned this already, default is to take all of them and they will be active. Or you can actually choose an active passive type configuration where you can put, make one the standby NIC. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty simple. We'll go ahead and click OK. This will go ahead and create the team. You can see the team is over here. The status is giving you the status here. It's in fault. Now, uh, warning switch independent. So it's under the in a warning state here, and base, this is probably mainly due to the fact that I don't have an IP address set on this NIC. If we go into the networking area again here, we can see that there 
is the Nick team. Those other two Nicks have been bonded into this Nick team, so they do not show up in this area. If I go under the adapters, what we can see here is now we can see the two independent Nick adapters and also the team, and it has a different um, picture here or icon which depicts it as a Nick team, uh, which is not you know analogous to a single NIC adapter so you are able to identify what that is and with the NIC team this is where you'll actually go in and configure your IP address um, uh, for the team so if you go into one of the single NICs you, sh the, you don't want to uh, try setting up the the options in here actually you're not allowed because they are a part of the team as well so uh, basically that's it uh, the you know quick overview of Nick team in a Windows 2012 server um, if you like the video go ahead and leave some comments like uh, and likes if you have any comments you want to to add go ahead and leave those comments on the uh, video page here